Have you downloaded a new plugin and instead of it coming with an installer, you need to mess about and manually install a component file. In this video, I'll show you exactly what you need to do to install component plugins. Having to manually install component files to use plugins isn't as common as it used to be. Most plugins come with installers nowadays, but some free plugins in particular do still need to be installed manually. Quiet Music's brilliant lo-fi themed Love Fi 3 Lite is one such instrument. And listen, it's definitely worth it as it is fantastic, and I'll be using it as an example in this video. You download Love Fi 3 Lite from Quiet Audio's Gumroad page for free, and once extracting the zip file you download, you'll be able to access the component file, its instruments file, and a PDF that includes install instructions. These instructions tell you what file to ultimately put the component file into, but actually accessing that file isn't particularly straightforward. Here on my Mac's desktop, I have the folder with the LoveFi 3 Lite component file open, and I'll just minimise that as I'll need it again in a minute. I'll head up to the toolbar at the top of the screen and click on Go. Here is a list of all locations on my Mac. Now I need to open the library folder, but as we can see, it isn't in this list. That's because Apple actually started hiding the library folder way back at the release of Mac OS X Lion to stop users from inadvertently deleting important files. I can hold the Option key on my typing keyboard with this menu open to have the library location pop up, and I can then click through to access it. I then need to find and open the audio folder, then plugins, then components. And here is where I want to put the Love Fi 3 Lite component file and that instrument folder. I can bring up the window I minimised earlier, then just drag and drop the component file and the instrument folder into the components folder. Quiet Audio's installation guide recommends that you restart your machine completely after doing this, but you shouldn't need to do that really. Instead, closing and reopening GarageBand or Logic Pro should be enough to have Love Fi 3 Lite show up as an instrument in your AU instrument list. If you've been stuck on this, hopefully you've found this video helpful, and if you have, I'd really love it if you'd give that like button a good hard slap. I really appreciate it, and it helps more people see this video. And if you want to grab some great free plugins that don't require you to jump through loads of hoops to install them, watch this next.